Welcome back, everyone, to Let's Play Space Pirates and Zombies with me, Rainboy Twenty, where we last left off. We were exploring the inner systems now that we're just violently breaking our way through them until we can finally get to this unknown star system. However, however, I can see who I actually have control over. You are our mediator. I like you as mediator. Who's our other person? Um, you're not that bad. Ah, uh, yes. I was trying to decide between you two, and then I think I went over to you, just because even if you own... even if you have the missile damage, all this stuff will be much more effective for me. Drone damage, not so much, but you'll get armor deflection eventually anyway. Plus I might use drones later. So first things first, we're going to go to this system. You might find it strange, but we're going to be trying to buy our way into the system here. We run the original building. In fact, we might even attempt to connect the two systems. And you also happen to have the overcharge reactor, which is what I'm trying to purchase now just because of its potential uses. Even though it would be more horrendously expensive, I might be able to outfit extremely powerful guns and not have to be worried about it. And not have to be worried about things like power. And once again, that was horrifically expensive. I understand that it was horrifically expensive. And quite frankly, I don't care. One overcharge reactor. And we just blew our entire budget for the fiscal year. whoop de doo And you have a fortress shield, eh? Oh, wait, let me guess. You guys hate my guts. No. Really? Well, that just makes things easy. But, depending on what's available, there's a zombie invasion. <sighs> I hate everything that you make me do. Oh, if only the UTA would not force me to spend so many goons. If only. Make my job that much easier. Because I can't bribe them now. In fact, that was kind of a bad decision, but I'm going to stick with it and head in the exact opposite direction. And you have, as usual, nothing that I want. Because I don't... I actually should check. Do I have the highest tier beam? And I've just been too stupid to realize that. Oh, and the uh, civvies hate my guts here. And they're actually fairly strong, meaning I'm going to have to weaken them if I want to do anything. The new tier neutral to me. What do you freaking do? Um, alright. I need to check this, because I've been... Have I been stupid this entire time? I haven't. Uh, the actually okay. Can't do that. You know what? Civvies hate my guts. I'll do the established dominance mission. Why? Because civilians can't possibly hate me any further. Presumably, this isn't a civvy ship, and it's an actual... No, it's a civvy ship. And they had cloaked ones. I don't know why I didn't expect that. And, of course, there are also zombie ships, meaning this place is going to turn into a field of beams. Not to mention the fact that... This thing is here. Okay, good. That could have gone extremely poorly.
Don't you dare. Wait. Zoom out. Oh, no. You freaking... Alright, let's see if I can kill this thing off from a distance. Okay, good. You all know my issues with having to deal with more zombies than I have to, because they just never seem to end. Right. So I'm just going to build up a massive hall anyway, while my ships invariably fight off the significantly weaker opponents. At the same time, we have another one of those things grouping out tumors that are invariably growing into even worse things, because these people can't seem to keep their stuff together. Oh, hi there. Well, I can't say I'm surprised, but... Really? Cloaking devices will not help you here, especially against the zombies. You're taking away my... You jerk. And of course, you're just growing more ships attached to your edge, so... And you're attacking me, so I have to attack you, because you're just going to help the zombies, which are only growing even more zombies, which they're bringing us towards even more zombies, because these... It's the never-ending horde again, isn't it? Fine, I might invest in a cloaking device. Might be the operative term here. It's not I don't like stealth, it's just... It doesn't suit my style. Play. I like tanking things and just dishing out more damage than you can deal to me. Of course, it grows into another ship which will make more tumors which we have to deal with. Also, why are you attacking me? Oh, there's even more of you. Great. Well, at least we have more than enough people on board to fight them off. Holy cow, surplus, Batman. Holy cow, surplus. Yes, yes, someone, someone draw an image. Now I yield. No fan, whatever, interaction for me, apparently. Yeah. Right, time to stop being depressed. But that's kind of hard, considering the zombies don't stop, and if we don't break them all, we can, we'll have to just mass retreat, and I don't want to feel, run away with a tail between my legs. As I try desperately to make any amount of sense whatsoever. Right, let's get out of here. Um, save strength down, UTA up. How many? I won't have nearly enough goons just to waltz on through. Back to home. What's available? UTA versus zombies. Sure, why not? It's been a while anyway, so. How does it treat you to a war show? An infected outpost? I don't think I've ever seen one of these before. Something tells me I'm not going to enjoy them. And then the zombie grinder appears, as if to confirm what I need to say. Please don't tell me this thing produces eggs. I, I think there was there was a huge mothership that produced eggs. Hopefully this thing doesn't. 
and then my UTA friend is just being a, just being a complete ass and just running in front of me. Oh wait, no, it produces another ship, which produces eggs, which I can't win. Alright, let's do the sensible thing and kill the thing that's producing more eggs. Because, screw logic, and this thing's producing people. It's producing ships. Why can't we have human outposts that do that? Just, just produce them as quickly as this thing does. Why would you have an infected outpost right next to your own? <laughs> no, you're not getting away. I'm not letting you produce more zombies. Get back here. You produce an egg. Get I'm getting on you. Come on. Yeah, this is boring. Even I agree that it's boring, but... Well, I say that, and we're a mile and a half away... But it seems like they've infected a grinder, and they're making babies. <sighs> Never have I thought that I would ever be saying such a thing on air. Then again, I don't really know about Let's Play. So we... Refuge in Audacity. The inspiration really isn't striking me, so my commentary is going to be lackluster. I'm sorry. I should just put that as a warning at the start of every one of my videos. Right, let's see what they can kill me with today. Well, it looks like the UTA is actually doing their job. So clean up some of these eggs. Get them soon out. Not only does that sound disgusting, I'd rather not be on the ship that has to watch that. Alright. Let's kill some of the tumors. And of course, my UTA friend has to run in front of my shots. Thank you. So, so useful. Sweet zombie grinder. Because it's not a horrifying thought. Of course, I have to look away because the UTA is as dumb as blocks or rocks. I don't even think I'm gonna even walk. Yeah, get out of here. Well, this is boring. Well, it's the second time I've said that today in this uh, in this uh, one small segment. <sighs> I don't want to take off the UTA for once, okay? I want to be a Mr. Goody Two Shoes. And then there's even... Jeez, jeez. Don't tell me that thing is a grunt shuttle, because that thing would never run out of men. No, seriously, playing as zombies would be amazing here, but I don't want to see if I can find any mods for this. Especially because I've never actually finished the main game. And I'm not delaying, I'm trying my hardest to get through this, but I am not going to try to make enemies when I don't have to. Which is the exact opposite of what I've been doing for the past 10 episodes or so. No, I, I'll do it again. More eggs. And it produces more anyway.
And of course it's attacking me of all people. No, it can't attack anyone sensible. Like the two freaking, um, what do they call Crawlers that are right in front of it. No, it has to attack the right hook. Which is only benefits the fact that it has ridiculous amounts of laser fire and never seems to run out of power. I really should drop all this stuff off. You can say these things are the gift that keeps on giving. Great, how many references can I make in one episode? You know, we're getting out of here. This bites and it's boring as all heck. Good, no infected ships. Right. Crystal Crush. Nothing, nothing. Ah, <sighs> uh, UT hates my guts here. You know what? Actually, this one's got level 48. Have I really been trying hard in order to get them to be my buddies? Yes, yes, I have. Um, is there... Nope. Great. No, let's not tick off the UTA. Screw it, let's tick off the UTA. I'm, I'm, I want to get this mission on. Gladly let them kill the mothership. Ooh, I got a free claw. And I'm getting the left hook as well. Please tell me that the UTA are dying so I don't have to do anything. You little... I'm gonna have to fire you now. You know that, right? Alright, let's kill off the volleys, because I'm... Well, I'm not sticking around here anymore. And I'm going the wrong way because I don't understand which direction I'm headed in. How many targets have I swapped in a time span of three seconds? I also have to realize the fact I don't have the men to replace this. Well, now I do. You know, if I would have just waited for a level up, I wouldn't have had to deal with any of this. But no, I had to go off and kill the UTA. Because that's standard at this point. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not gonna get hit by the particle cannon or the railgun. Sorry. Oh, I said I wasn't, and then I get hit by it constantly. But I'm out repairing any damage you do to me, so I don't care. Now let's drop off this stuff. Does anybody speed or not? Or yeah. Now we're gonna get a zombie ship. Great! And since we can't get rid of these things, they're just gonna keep growing. Okay. 
Okay. Zombie Blight. Just basically everything I don't want to deal with at the moment. Hang on, can I uh, level up something, something somewhat useful? I can level up my hull again. There is almost no point except for the fact that I get to increase everything on my hull. The bloody bombs have killed more of my troops than the zombies have. Stop firing, please. Don't you... I don't know how to vent crew. Well, we're about to lose that ship. Come on, UTA. Come on, UTA. Lose your freaking ship already. We're gonna level up again. You can't stop us. Or maybe you can. Maybe you have enough firepower. Maybe I have enough zombie crew on board to make this a danger. Maybe I'm incredibly slow now. Yeah, I'm incredibly slow now. Thankfully, it died near me. Master Rank. Sweet. Finally, something new. Right, what gate is now cleared, and I might design a hammerhead. Tag. Come off these ships. You know what? No, since when do I have to kill off all these ships? Let's just get out of here. Very clear the warp gate. We finally get to this point which is nothing at all that I want, and is incredibly easy compared to what I've got available. So, let us... No... Here, here. No, no, no. Okay. Hull. C. Oh, we had a freighter this entire time. Eh, we had a hammerhead. Hammerhead? Yeah, hammerhead. It's got turrets! We are going to outfit it! So much so that it's too expensive to replace. Beams! More beams! Ridiculous amounts of beams! Then we are also going to shove a huge reactor booster and a huge laser. As well as giving it everything we have access to, which makes it so ridiculous. I don't think I'm going to ever consider using that seriously. How slow is this thing? Dear gosh! The voice isn't going to hurt. Right. Onward! What time is it? Alright. What are your grunt shuttles doing? What are your grunt shuttles doing? We like this ship. We like this ship a lot. I don't even have to aim, mostly. And now I get to have a massive crew total. This is just going to keep getting better and better, isn't it? And my ships commit suicide. Well, not my problem. And oh god. No, this thing really, this thing handles terribly. I, 
I think I made a mistake. I'm gonna get another one soon enough, and you've got grunt shuttles to the to a ludicrous degree. If you stop trying to take over, it's not gonna work. Especially because the ships you're hitting are just making you lose more men. this big bus hiding. There you are. Well, I'm not running out of power anytime soon. Might under constant... <laughs> You're wasting all your troops. I hope you realize that. And then s says the man who suddenly has 17 people on board his ship and he doesn't know where they came from except for just a few grunt shuttles he happened to run into. But I'm replacing them just as quickly as you're killing them, just because you keep dying. It only kind of works when you don't have any troops on board. And then my shield is equally ridiculous. And this is without a shield booster, mind you. Oh, if only we were fighting near our ship. That would make things so much more effective. Nope, nope, we're, we're, we're swapping. Come on, to the clockwork. To the clockwork. We are not fighting anywhere near, uh, far away from the clockwork. Nope, 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 come on. Come on, come on, clockwork. We should have been doing this this entire time. We could have more goons than they could physically handle. At least I would hope. And these people are now flying away from the hammerhead, which makes perfect sense. We have work to do. Shut it. We're fighting off civvy presence right on our doorstep. I think I'm justified. This thing is the extremely slow. Well, that certainly replenished our numbers. And we'll go to a prison break next episode. So, I hope you all enjoyed watching. Uh... Nah. Civvies hate me already, so I might as well. They'll attack me on sight, he says. Welcome to the Maximum Security Correction Facility for subsector A, B, 4, 9, D. If you know of any friends or family members you would like to nominate for incarceration here, please fill out a registration form and drop it off with one of our representatives during business hours. Well, here we are. This base is mostly automated and operates with a skeleton crew. If we breach the hull severely enough, the onboard computer will purge the prisoners and escape pods. Let's warm up the thermonuclear welcome rockets and hit the base hard. Everyone to your combat stations now. Come on, get ready to scoop up those prisoners. Your interest in this facility has been appreciated. If you would like to purchase souvenirs at our gift shop, which is located across the rectal cavity, analysis booths on deck six. Thank you, and enjoy your stay. No, no, I'm not targeting. Okay, fine. I see your big bus, and I raise you a hammerhead. This is the first time I've ever actually flown with this ship, hence why I'm so freaking happy about it. It's working better than anything I've ever attempted before. 
And I might actually have to lower the crew counts, if only because I actually don't need the crew counts anymore. Speaking of which, I don't have a need of them, more specifically. Actually, speaking of which, let's... Let's fix that, because I don't need that big of a surplus anymore. And this is about to die. Did that thing have subpar equipment? No, okay. This thing is collecting its own scrap. This couldn't work out any better. People happen to walk right in my doorstep. Might as well pick up all the scrap if they're just gonna drop it like this. And all the crew. Because why not? I mean, oh gosh, this is. No, no, the game wouldn't be that big of a dick. Yeah, why am I staying around here fighting? I could just break the space station. No, really, why? No, you're not destroying our beacon. You are not destroying our beacon. Come on, attack me. Attack me. Attack me. Attack me. I'm attacking your station. I am the one horrible man who's breaking apart your station far faster than you can do anything about it. You will, I'll be a dingo's pro proctologist, if it ain't me old stone picker buds. Mac, oh, you big for this here favor. Damn, Mac, how did you end up out here? I ain't be so sure about that. This old skull react will be a tad short on quarks. I do seem to remember passing out from chowder poison. When I woke up, these UT assholes be asking me a bunch of questions. Now that I think about it, they asking me about y'all folks. Shit, Jameson's still looking for us in the, even in this wasteland. This isn't good, but I can't help but be a little flattered that he's trying so hard. Mac, do you remember anything about the UTA flagship that brought you here? Do you remember anything useful? They were marching us all out on horseback in caravan every odd day. We'd be picking fuzzy stones you'd like so much, except these be freaking fuzzy as a monkey's ass. Not sure what lamp. <clears throat> Not sure what language that was, but I guess we're getting close to the high density res deposits. Elsa, see if you can dig a coordinate out on the Mac. We'll need to find out where they were taking him to work. Hello, specialist. Hello, specialist. Well, there's a bunch of people out here. Well, why didn't you say something? They'll break as soon as I get here. I'm screwed up on voices here. Right, let's see. And we're almost full already. Who are you? Booster power maneuverability cannon. Uh, you would be great. You would be godlike. If I was using bombs, if I was using cannons, but I'm not. Even though sensibility says I should. Plus, you're a loner. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. Yeno. Know. Yeno. Know. Right. And I shall update the hull once more. Making an even huger um, setup. Run back to the ship, see what our upgrades look like, and we'll be on our way. 
So, we've all enjoyed watching. This has been Rainbow 20 with Let's Play Space Pirates and Zombies, and I am signing off. Game save.